Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, it seems like these last couple episodes I've always said, hey, this is a big, a monumental uh, process, uh, or, or at least a place in the process where we're at. And again, today is going to be that. Um, so we have married the deck on K1 to the, the hull on the outside, and we've not done that with K2. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to fiberglass this in, uh, and that's going to be our main focus today. So we're really getting close to getting to the point where we can launch these things. Of course, you know, we still got to do a, a, a lot more, but at least this is going to get us there a lot quicker. So sit back and watch us uh, fiberglass this in.
Well, there we go. A solid, uh, probably solid couple hours working on this. Have got this all the way fiberglassed. Uh, this laid down really nice, even with this little part here. Uh, did pretty well. Still do some sanding on there. Uh, I almost forgot this. Almost forgot it. And we we're actually out on these. Um, I've got a, it's really this one here, not that much there. So we'll take, and I'm going to set this off to the side, bring the mower back in, shut everything down, and we're just going to let this dry. So thanks for joining us today. Um, we'll get back a little bit later and cut out uh, some of these pieces, but um, we've got two of them. First coat of epoxy all the way around, fiberglass, they're fiberglass together. Uh, the hole or the bulkhead is back there is fiberglassed in it's gonna make this these two boats really solid so we'll be back at you well I just love it when I can come out um, and it is one o'clock uh, on Saturday where you know we did this this morning we went off and did some condo work and we can actually do some trimming here um, I do have to do some sanding because, you know, we have to feather this in. And there's not as many um, sharp areas, which is good. But uh, let's go ahead and trim out all of our pieces here. <clears throat> so that we'll then maybe even start our next project. With this still being a little green, it really, that fiberglass really cuts like butter. And my knife is not all that sharp, which I think that also helps as well. We'll let that kind of dry out and then we can sand that but uh, that's looking good so let's come back here and let's cut these out that's good and we'll we'll take and I may come back in here 
I'm going to take some 400 gray. Just going to kind of run it around here. Because our next little thing, we're going to come in here and do a little uh, epoxy in here. Okay, so you know, I, I kind of wonder how much should I go in here and really start cleaning this up? And I can do a lot of that, or I can move on to the next process of putting in these. I'm gonna get and do a little reading because there's two things that we're gonna do. One, we're gonna put this in like this. Go ahead and and then this actually attaches on the inside here. So I'm going to go in and do some reading because one of the things I think you really want to do is is probably make sure all of this is has been epoxied before we put it together. And then I do want to check to see. Do I epoxy this down? I know that I use a, a um, the fillet to do that, but we want this all to be protected. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and take and read and see what I need to do, and possibly what I need to do is is uh, make sure all of this has been epoxied before we put it together. So I actually thought that we were going to be working on this back here. Uh, the directions say to, to do the combing next. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to I'm going to put some material inside here so we don't get anything, um, don't get any more mess in here than what we already have. And then um, we need to cut our combing so that it works right. And then we're going to grab some of those big pieces and we'll start putting this stuff together. You and I, we are so random. You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last. Your words come out so soothing that I forget that this thing is confusing. Having such a blast, but don't ask where my head is at. Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us. So the very first thing that we're gonna have to do is we do have to cut these so that they will fit. Because I I believe that there's a little overlap on these, but we'll see. Could be completely wrong. And I am. I'm completely wrong. So we just need to butter those up and stick those on. And let's check about these. These are going to be a little rougher. I thought I was going to have to do a little bit more work than that. So what we'll end up doing is lining those up and gluing those all to here, but then flipping them over while they are still kind of setting up and drying uh, because this will be bent into this area. So let's go ahead and I think we're going to have to mix up some uh, epoxy to get this done. <music> Want you to be my Job, but I'm running 
running like I'm lost in the woods, yeah, I don't really care, cause I just like it here, me and you can't get enough, no, you know, act it, but I know this is a bluff, though, having such a blast, but don't ask where my head is at, cause I'm cruising through the rush of us, I don't care about love, just need your touch. Want you to be my vice, 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 vice. I'm all about your vibe, vibe, vibe. Want you to be my vice, 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 vice.
used all of our clamps Harbor Freight clamps I think those things were like I don't know I think I have like two or three and they're like eight bucks a pop these little kits and I did buy 20 of certain ones for like a buck or something like that so I mean about thirty dollars worth of clamps there but uh, we're gonna let that go but it looks it's looking good that's another big part so the only thing that we have to really in, end up getting is uh, we'll end up getting this one here and then we can start really working on cleaning this all up that is actually it for today thanks for watching and uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow probably take all the clamps off um, we may clamp the one on um, in the the hatch so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe hit that thumbs up if you like the content and make sure to turn on your post notifications to catch all the episodes of the bucket list thanks for watching